Hypersensitivity reactions. We have already discussed about the definition, the types, type number one, number two, number three, number four, and the cause in our last video. And in this video, we'll be talking about the mechanism. And in our upcoming videos, we will discuss further these mechanisms. So this video is just specific for the mechanism of the type 1 reactions. Named is immediate reactions, allergic reactions or anaphylactic reactions. Now, what is written here that the two exposures are must for the hypersensitivity reactions. For all the types of reactions, okay? Number 1, 2, 3 and 4. For all these reactions, we need two exposure in order to accomplish these reactions. Now, what is actually happening in the exposures? In the first exposure, our body will be sensitized. You can say our immune system is actually sensitized, okay? It is a vacant. And in the second step, in the second reaction, you can say in the second exposure, there will be actually a kind of reaction scene. These old reactions will be actually seen. Let's discuss the type 1. In the type 1 and in the first exposure of the type 1 reactions, when antigen, now you can call this antigen as allergen also, okay? Regarding type 1 reactions. Consider this as allergen or antigen. When this enters your body, their APC, antigen presenting cell, is waiting for this antigen. Now just guess from the name, antigen presenting cell. It is a kind of cell which is actually presenting the antigen towards another cell. Now what are those other cells? T cells. These cells are waiting for this antigen presenting cells. And when they reach, these T cells will release interleukin type 4. Now remember, there's a kind of a lot of, uh, you can say, uh, interleukins and some other chemical substances available. Cytokines are available here. But the very prominent and responsible interleukins is IL-4, type 4, which are actually released by this T cells. And now these interleukins will direct to B cells. And these are actually responsible to do the class switching. Now what do we mean by the class switching term? You know the B cells are responsible to produce the antibodies. And this specific interleukin is responsible to stimulate the B cells to produce specific type of the antibody. And that's why we call it as class switching. Means it is switching the B cells to produce specific type of the antibodies. That's it. So interleukin 4 will switch the B cells to produce IgE antibodies. And you can call these type 1 reactions also IgE mediated reactions. Because IgE is the responsible antibody to cause this type 1 reactions. Well, now this IgE which is produced, it will direct the mass or basophil cells. It will go and will bind to the mass and basophil cells. Now here our IgE is available bonded to the mass or basophil cells. In the second exposure, the same antigen we enters, it will bind with the IgE, the mass and basophil cells. Now as this antibody binds to this IgE, this IgE will stimulate the mass and basophils to release the chemical mediators. And one of the very prominent and responsible chemical mediator released is histamine and now these histamines are responsible to induce the allergic reactions and what are the examples of the allergic reactions allergic asthma eczema edema hair fever these all are the actually examples of the first type 1 allergic reactions i hope you got and if still you have any kind of question regarding this first mechanism feel free to ask us in the comment box and remember that we have explained all the types along with definition and cause in our very first video so in that first video you can watch all the mechanisms types explained in a very precise to the point way and once again thank you for watching